I think at one point I was the fifth string quarterback and we only had four healthy quarterbacks. So uh, it, was, it wasn't good. I mean, it, I, the coaching staffs that were there were very upfront with me and very honest. You know, uh, Dan Henning was my head coach. At one point he sat me down in his office and I was upset and he said, you're not even in the mix. You know, we're not even considering you. I mean, if these guys go down, you're not good enough to even go in, you know. And so I think that helped me, uh, helped motivate me to, to try to work on things that he was asking me to do. And uh, it was tough. It was definitely tough, but uh, he definitely made me a better quarterback. What I didn't really expect was the reaction to Matt playing uh, uh, just average early on. I, I thought I thought our folks would let us get through that. But um, and I built him up pretty good too. And so um, the other part that's somewhat unique is that he started. Then he had to go back to the bench, and now he started again. But honestly, I think that's made Matt a better player. And now he's playing, and now he should have a long career and be Being good for a long time. Being on that sideline in Green Bay in big games where the opposing team lost the game before they even stepped on the field because they were just they were intimidated by Brett Favre and Lambeau Field and all the names, Vince Lombardi. And, and I just wanted to send a message to, to my teammates and a little bit to my friends on the Packers. Hey, we're not intimidated by that. We don't care. We're going to go out and play football. And, uh, and, and we're, it would be a dream come true. I mean, the amount of time and effort and work that we put into this and what we put our bodies through, what we put our families through, it would just, uh, it would just make it all worthwhile. It really would.